The full lecture can be downloaded free at suprememastertv.com forward slash download. The same link also has Supreme Master Ching Hai's two other new urgent messages. Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent message to all religious and spiritual leaders and Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent call to rescue our world and pray for world vegan. Warning, you might find the content herein disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent message to all animal meat business and livestock factory owners, also fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab test, cosmetics and leather industries. Here are animal meat business persons, groups and livestock factory owners. Fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab test, cosmetic and leather industries. Please take heed because this is very, very important for you. You must know this before it's too late for you. This is what hell will sentence you for. Maybe you did not do it on purpose. Maybe you didn't think about it. But you must do think about it because it concerns you. You will go to hell and suffer so much more, a thousand times more than these animals and people are suffering because of your bloody business. I am not swearing. Blood is on your hand, on your body, in your hair, in your stomach, in your breath, in your lungs in your cars, in your houses, in your food, in your shoes, the leather shoes that you wear, everything is all stained with blood, soaked in blood. You turn now, when you still can. Begin a new life. I promise to intervene with heaven on your behalf. For I also love you, despite what you have done. So stop the murdering, stop it now and repent. So that the mercy of God might not be obstructed for you and yours. May God help you to be awakened soon. Please keep watching to find out more. This is a highly recommended must watch. As for all our shows, viewers may download this message free and send it to meat and livestock business owners. Also fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab test, cosmetics and leather industries. Your respected religious leaders, family and friends. God bless. Download the video at suprememastertv.com forward slash download. The other two recent special messages, Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent message to all religious and spiritual leaders and Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent call to rescue our world and pray for world vegan, can also be downloaded free at suprememastertv.com forward slash download. Warning, you might find the content herein disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. Dear uh, animal meat business persons, groups, and livestock factory owners, fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab tests, cosmetics, and leather industries, it's difficult for me to find you. Uh, plus time is urgent. And I'm a very busy woman. 
So I'm reading it on air, on my television. So please take heed, because this is very, very important for you. So important that I have to spare my valuable time during my retreat. Now I'm still in retreat. But I spare my time to inform you. You must know this before it's too late for you. If you have no time to listen, then you can download this. Or someone will download and try to send it to you. I'm sure some people know where you are, even if I don't. Download this message and hear it. Asa, as soon as possible. You see, I am in retreat. I don't know when I will get out. And I've been thinking about this for quite some time, before my retreat even. Though it, it, it took many, many days and even weeks and night to script it for myself is very, very, very precious, the time that I'm having. Therefore, in a hurry, even though I have been thinking a long time about it, but in such a, a shortage of time, maybe some things are still missing. But this should be sufficient enough for your knowledge. This is what hell will sentence you for. A. Overall unethical practices. One, you hand out a few hundred dollars and make the workers sell their conscience. They have no other work, perhaps in your remote area where you hide murderous sins from the world. Two, for tempting the loving parents with your cheap, subsidized, bloody flesh in disguise and reduce prices at taxpayers' expense so that they buy it and are forced to feed their babies, children, and themselves too, mostly unaware of all the chemicals extra poison, hormones, etc. in that piece of dead carcass. 3. For cashing in and living wealthily at the cost of hundreds of millions of humans and animals pain and suffering daily. 4. For wasting billions of hard-earned taxpayers' money all the time. 5 for corrupting political entities by lobbying with your cash and tactics so they could not speak up against you, being so busy themselves. Thus, you are at liberty to maim, poison, and massacre our animal co-inhabitants, not just the animals, but also your co-humans mentally spiritually, physically, as consequences of eating animals and using animal products. B. Health costs. 1. For poisoning humanity, including children and sentient animals with meat, eggs, laden with all kinds of chemicals in the name of medicine in doses that endanger people's health. Two, for costing billions of zillions of the national treasury because of critical illness, and for costing your nation zillions of gazillions of citizens hard-earned money for all meat-related treatment. Three, for causing so much sorrow, anguish, physically, emotionally, mentally, to unsuspecting humans 
who are maimed, lame, crippled, die in anguish, and the bereaved families and friends. Four, for separating families and friends because of meat-related diseases and death and consequences. Five, for friends and acquaintances whose lives have been taken away in sickness and pain because of your immoral, blood-soaked, murderous, crueler than hell, so-called industry, meat industry. Six, for loving beings' personal health as your horrendous evil treatment of the poor, helpless, innocent animals makes them sleepless, angry, sorrowful, anguished, and thirst less efficient in their mission for God and humanity, or even in their any mundane job. C. Destroying the planet. 1. For causing the climate emergency by your heat trapping, methane producing way of livestock raising for gain and ignoring the lives of billions on our planet, including precious species that are in danger of extinction, and many have been already on the list of extinction. Two, for causing deforestation by chopping pieces of the great lungs of our world. Three, for polluting our water sources, rivers, oceans, environment, air, and soil. Four, for causing a lot of resource dwindling, including food and water shortages due to animal raising and drought that causes further traumatic effect on human life and animals' life as well. D. Disrupting order. 1. For violating the laws of your country as an animal caretaker. In your hands, the Lord trusts that you, quote, protect them from all manner of pain, fear, and cruel treatment, etc. One look into your factory, anyone can testify the opposite. The opposite is true with your business. Two, and despite your country's laws stating that you cannot maltreat animals, not make them fear and all that. No cruelty to animals. You are squeezing them in a tiny crate that they can't turn around all their life. Can't have their babies in a humane and decent quarter to nurture and raise them as parents should. Instead, they are cramped and squeezed all over mom in a tiny crate made with steel. Imagine if that were your mom and yourself and your siblings, such as pigs in your factory. What shall we call that? They have feeling, you know. And you must sack them. I'm just too... <sighs> too exhausted too by thinking about all this, all these days before I read this. I had to script it and read it now. What shall we call that? And you must sack them brutally Why they are still conscious and alive. Is that benevolent or hell is cruelty? Worse than hell, I would say. Worse than some hells. Three, for going against not just human laws, but even God's laws. The most important commandment Thou shall not kill, all the religions say the same. Not just Christianity, but all main religions state the same thing. Thou shall not kill. So, which side are you working for? Huh? Because God says you shall not kill. God didn't specify just not to kill humans. So you're not on the side of God, and you're not on the right side of the law either. Four, 
for giving busy governments extra difficult decision-making work because of your business, because this murderous so-called business has become normalized. So the government kind of don't know what to do, nor how to deal with your evil business. Thus, making them, force them vulnerably into reluctant accomplices. Five, for causing law enforcers more uncalled for, unnecessary extra tension-filled work, having to deal with animals, rights, protests, often and everywhere nowadays. Even if they are peaceful protests, still, police already have more than enough, more than a lot of unnerving hard work at hand. And all those crimes they have to deal with are also primarily produced by the mental imbalance causing meat diet that makes citizens easily fall into the wrong side of the law or acting against their own will. Six, for causing people, including Supreme Master Ching Hai self, to lose sleep, to lose precious time, agonizing in the heart, risking their life, safety, position, health, finance, secular and spiritual power, etc. Taking care of and handling this issue due to your despicable deeds. E. Degrading humanity. 1. For degrading vulnerable, innocent, holy priests and monks and nuns into your trap to also have to consume the flesh of helpless, lovable creatures whom God lovingly created. Not for eating, obviously, because in all religious scriptures saying that thou shalt not kill, be you not among wine drinker and meat eater. Be not among even, not just to talk about eating them, but with all this powerful, lovely humanity is dragged into this trap all this time. I feel so sorry for everyone. Therefore, I don't mince my word anymore. We need to speak it up. It's time. It's too late already. I should have done it earlier. I was too soft, too polite, and it didn't work very well. So now we try a different approach. Huh? You see, God created the animals not for eating, but because it's there already and everybody does it, it became like a habit in the society. So even monks and nuns and priests, they are vulnerable, they are busy, they have things to study, they have work to do for others, for their faithful. So they just eat whatever is there, whatever prepare for them. Thus, the eating of the animal flesh, lessening the man of the cloth, their holy status in heaven's eyes, and more likely succumbed even to judgment in the haze, which they are not, not all of them are aware of even. Two, for dragging humanity into a degrading status of disgusting cannibalism from what we are supposed to be, the benevolent children of God, the crown of the creation. Thus, they could be also subjected to terrifying purgatory. Three, for making a tyrannic reputation for all the governments and the human race, fear by the entire creation and detested even by the most humble, such as dogs. 
four, for passively inciting war and hatred among humans and other beings involved by making dead flesh available and advertised, cheapened by government subsidies, you know, taxpayers' money again. So when consuming it, they lose some sanity, which inflames the cause of conflict even more. Five, for making our world a habit-forming brutal society full of violence, murders, society killing sentient animals by billions all the time on this beautiful place that we're supposed to share with all co-inhabitants. Therefore, making people forget their true God-children nature, thus pushing them into agonizing, lasting hells. F, you turn now. You turn now. You must you turn for your own sake even. Because if you don't, you will be suffering in hell. You will suffer worse than the animal that you sell, that you kill. Men kicked, paralyzed, forced to drown even into so-called disinfectant pond before they are getting cutthroat. You turn now. If you are you're still a human, ah, uh, you turn because there are also some other factors that you should consider. Following are uh, just some examples, such as one: people may sue you because they are anguished, anger, and in pain either personally or for loved ones, subjected to meat-related illnesses by the above mentioned. People are also angry because they know meat business produce methane, which is heating up our planet as the rate is incredible, so incredible, and is accelerating. People are worried about their own future, about their children's future, Even children nowadays, only 12 years old, 16 years old, they are going out on the street to call on the government to change the policy, to stop meat industry, because they will think there's no more future for them if the planet is gone or the planet is heated up beyond endurance. That people could sue you for all that mentioned above. But I'm still thinking that you are also human, you may make mistakes. You, inside the heart, inside your heart, there is still soft spot somewhere, still some God quality dormant waiting to be awakened. So I am still waiting. I have asked heaven to grant me more power so I can help such beings, difficult to help, such as your case. But still, I cannot control other people's minds. You understand? So people, they might still sue you because they are tormented over the limit of what a tender heart can bear. It happened to me too, too often to, to be counted. I'm one of them. The people, if driven much harder, they will have nothing to lose, nothing to fear, and they will win. And the winnings will go to some of the deserved causes, like one, to those that save lives, such as the Red Cross, the Save the Children, a Salvation Army, those organizations that do good for the world and always be there for the needy and the weak or maybe orders of nuns and monks who work for others' wellness, who take care of the infants, of the orphans, who take care of the elderly, of the homeless, of the sick, and weak 
with no one to rely on. Or they give it to the orphans whose parents die from flesh eating and get sick, get incurable diseases such as heart disease, cancer, or mental disturbance. They die eating meat to fatten your wallet, adding to more of your flashy cars or and enlarging your mansions and hellish animal factories. Two, to communities ravaged by famine and malnutrition, caused by most of the grain fed to your animal industry instead of to humans who desperately need it. You can see it on television. Many children, only the skin cover their bones. You can count how many bones they have. You know that. Nowadays, people can know many things. They can check it out, they can watch TV, they can search on Internet to have the knowledge that is necessary. Three, to give work to people for replanting forests, to replenish the oxygen that sustains our life on earth, including yours and yours. The life, the precious life that you take away without thinking twice. Maybe you did not do it on purpose. Maybe you didn't think about it, but you must do think about it because it concerns you. You will go to hell and suffer so much more, a thousand times more than these animals and people are suffering because of your bloody business. I am not swearing. Blood is on your hand, on your body, in your hair, in your stomach, in your breath, in your lung in your cars, in your houses, in your food, in the shoes, the leather shoes that you wear, everything is all stained with blood, soaked in blood. Four, the winning money can go to opening organic vegan farms or restaurants or hotels or other organic vegan products. So, five, you turn now, because you are also shooting yourself, and will drag yourself earlier to your grave by meat-related diseases, or and your family members, and earlier to awaiting demons in hell who will torture you no end. And the suffering you will endure there is more terrifying than what you have measured to the poor, helpless animals under your brutal treatment. I told you I don't want to mince my world. It has to go straight, unreserved, so that it might have effect to rescue our world and rescue your souls and the soul of your family members and clans. You turn now when you still can. What if you die tomorrow? Life is uncertain. You will go straight to hell. I swear to God, I'm telling you the truth. I know what hell is. You don't want to be there. Please don't. Please don't. It hurts me even to think that you have to go there and suffer. Please, you turn now. You will. No one there will be helping you if you are in hell. Repent now when you still have a chance. Make it over. Begin a new life. I promise to intervene with heaven on your behalf. I will be there to help you. I have enough power, but
but you must you turn and repent. Because if you don't, then that means you are uh, irredeemable, that you are from a very, very low substance that could not be changed. In that case, we all will give up on you, and you have to fear it yourself. Turn to organic vegan farming, vegan shops, vegan hotels, vegan restaurants, vegan products, you know, beauty products, etc., etc., instead, which will earn you a decent, honest living on earth and a place in paradise. I'm granted more power to help humanity, including you, especially you. But I still wait for you to you turn with whatever is left of my patience and strength. I pray for your inner love to awaken, for your soul to triumph over the negative surrounding influence and ignorance. For I know that you have it in you, the compassionate nature inborn, inherent since creation began. For I also love you. I thought about you. I thought how you must have been pushed into this business by circumstances, by wanting to make it in the world, to give it to your family a good standard of living. You must have your reason, and you did not think about all this. Maybe no one has ever told you, or maybe you've been too busy making this business, you don't listen, or you have no time to listen. For I also love you, despite what you have done. You aren't aware even of all that you have done, are you? And you're not even aware of the devastating consequences to our world, to our climate, to humans and all others, and to yourself and your loved ones as well, are you? Because if you're aware of all that, you wouldn't have done this business. I think I'm quite sure of that. Do you know why I am quite sure about that? Because I know the Maya, or we call them, we call him Satan, the king of illusion, the devil himself, has blindfolded most of human spirit and led us to a vicious, vicious, uh, beaten path for so long that we have forgotten the right road to go home. We are all actually pitiful. We are all victims. For that, I truly love you, feeling sorry for you. It could have been me too, given circumstances. Who knows? So please, you turn now. I will be your friend. I do all I can to lift you up, to take you home where you'll be safe and loved and respected as a dignified child of God that you are. You have to you turn now, because if one day the world becomes vegan, it will. The world will become vegan. And when that comes, your children will be taunted in school as barbarous murderers. As veganism is gaining strength now and popularity, perhaps they have already been subjected to that uh, kind of ridiculing treatment, to embarrassment. I don't think they love you for that. 
if we succeed in becoming a vegan world, you will be looked at also as murderers of kids in the forms of animals because they generally have an IQ equivalent to children at a young age. Leading canine researcher Dr. Stanley Corrin, professor emeritus at the University of British Columbia in Canada, showed that dogs' intelligence is on par with a human child of two to two and a half years old. So they are kids. They are children, just in a different form. You are not going to kill them again, are you? You are not kids murderer, are you? No, I don't believe that. You were just too busy to think. You are just too busy. You ignore the inner warning from your heart. You are too busy to forget to feel what your hearts want you to do. Wake up now, Newton. And there's another scientist research, neuroscientist and animal behavior expert, Dr. Lori Marino, stated that pigs share a number of cognitive capacity with other highly intelligent species, such as dogs, chimpanzees, elephants, dolphins, and even humans. See that? One scientist even said that horse, for example, has an IQ level as a child of 12 years old. Oh, this is so stressful for me to be reminded. I cannot forget. I cannot forget how much suffering they have to endure with no one there to even say one word of defense for them, with no one there to help them. All these poor animals. My God, imagine it is you. Animals show happiness. They show sorrow. They show love and compassion to other species, including humans. They rescue humans also so often that we don't always have camera to record. Whatever we can record it, we know that animals are truly the ambassador of love, the representative of heaven. You watch the Supreme Master television. We always have clips of animals who rescue animals, who rescue humans, who rescue children in all different circumstances. And the dogs are not different from a cow or a pig or a chicken. They, the animals, help whenever they can and show absolute loyalty. They are better than many of us humans. So stop the murdering. Stop it now and repent. So that the mercy of God might not be obstructed for you and yours. Because a war of vicious energy surrounding you due to your barbarous deeds is surrounding you and your entire clan as well. Maybe you don't have this clairvoyant eye to see, but go ask some psychic who can. They'll tell you what kind of color you have around you. You know, like saints, Jesus, Buddha photo they have like hello around the head or around the body. You don't have that. You have just black like charcoal or maybe coffee, deep coffee color. You dimming the the light within you. You cover it with all this unfavorable substance and energy due to your working ethic, unethical working. Change. There are many ways to earn money, truly. Change to organic vegan business instead to redeem 
your sin, to help the planet recover. Apply to your government for help to compensate and subsidize your new turn. And heaven will forgive you. I forgive you. The earth will forgive you. And we humans, animals, and nature will all forgive you. Because you did not know what you are doing. I mean, maybe you see it, you know, but you don't really recognize it. Because you're busy. Your mind is elsewhere. Your mind is not connected with the suffering of the animals, which is unmistakable. It's not ignorable. We humans are sometimes funny. We don't see the reality, even is in front of our eyes. We don't see the truth, even though we hear it with our own ears. That's why we condemn the Lord Jesus assassinate, attempt to assassinate the Buddha and many other holy masters. Please wake up now and turn around. Make your life worthwhile. Make our Creator proud. I will be there for you again, I promise. This life and the next as the best ever friend you could have. Concluding, I thank heaven, all the heavens, for granting me more worth through the promised power of love to be able to uplift those who repent. I thank my dogs also for their endless patience, true understanding, true supportive spirit, true sacrifice, and big, 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 big love. They know nothing else but love. I thank my wonder staff who are always ready for my work, who keep typing and retyping this piece of report that I can read to you now. Because I'm all alone here, I have to send it away. I was writing all by hand, my own hand, and then they have to help me to type it clearly so that I can read my staff, my Supreme Master Television staff, my wonder staff, who are always ready for my work, to support me, to help me, no matter when and where, good or bad situation, rain or shine, just to help bettering our world, just to help uplifting others, just to help awaken those who are not aware of what they're doing, such as you and your situation. I thank all heartfelt supporters, I mean in spirit. I don't mean financial. I don't take money. I don't take donation. I make my own money. I earn my own uh, life, livelihood, in a good way, okay? <laughs> good way. I designed you just like this one, for example, and, and some of this here. Yeah, I even designed this cross called uh, the uh, the ultimate glory of love. This is a attribute to Lord Jesus Christ. The ultimate glory of love. Jesus has suffered so much for us. At least we do something, make him proud, make his blood which was shed worthwhile, at least to show gratitude to Lord Jesus, to Lord Buddha, Lord Mahavira, Lord Guru Nanak Dev Ji, for example, and also many other heavenly, holy beings who have graced our planet with their love, wisdom, and spiritual heavenly power to uplift humankind. I thank the same goalers, I mean the same goalposts, anywhere in the world. May you all be well in God's favor. May you never forget God. 
my fellow co-inhabitants. Maybe some of the world are not very polite, but I did not want to use any more polite word. I have been using it for thirty years, thirty plus years already. The result is less than <laughs> favorable. It has some effect. It's just too slow, and our planet is in danger. And nobody has told you that your kind of business will drag you to hell, truly. It could be long, 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 long time before you could even get out. And get out to become what? You don't even know yet. I'm a busy woman. I have my business to run. I have Supreme Master Television to take care. I have my staff to take care. I have my dogs to take care. So I have to make it straightforward and quick this time. So this is all from my sincere heart. As tears flow while I was writing all this to you, Hope you will be wise enough to apply love in all you do. But after all, if you do not listen, nor change your lifestyle in order to follow your loving heart, in order to awaken that heavenly spark within you, then we might perish altogether. You, I, mine, yours, the whole world, animals, humans, will be vanished from the surface of this planet. I still hold hope that you will change. I still hold my love for you and all on earth. So just in case you don't change your lifestyle, Please do remember my true name when you are in hell. Call on Tim Kotu, which is my real name, in heaven, to help you. I cannot guarantee that I can. Number one, in hell, 99.9% of the population, the hell is Victims who are punished in hell don't remember anything. That's why they continue to stay in hell. Some are eternally. Because when, when they go to hell, they are made to forget. Just like when we are born on this planet, we are made to forget. Imagine in this life, we don't suffer as much as in hell, we still forget. Forget that God say you shall not kill. Forget the Lord Jesus' teaching. Forget the Bible's teaching. Forget the Buddha's teaching. We are saying we are Buddhist, we are Christian, we are Muslim, we are a Sikh, we are Hindu, etc., etc. <laughs> but we don't do what our Master said that we should like the law of the universe, those shall not kill, you shall not kill, you shall not hurt others. Or whatever you don't want to be done to you, don't do it to others. This is a main doctrine, main principle of all religions on earth. And we forget it all. How many times do you remember Jesus' name during your day and night, how many times you even pray? Even if you pray, no one listens to you because God say that your hand is full of blood because you kill innocent animals. <laughs> they kill to even make offering to God, but God doesn't like that. God say, wash your hand or I will turn my head away when you pray. He doesn't like any animals kill even for him. 
how would he like it when we kill it just to eat at the expense of the innocent animals, cause them so much fear, suffering, all their lives, all their life, until the last minute, and die in horrible death even. So please, stop now. I just hope you remember my name if you are in hell, but I don't think so. That is a problem. If you can, then I can help you. But I don't think it is, it is almost like zero possibility that you would remember the name of any saint, past, present, or future. Because the situation in hell, because the terror around, because of pain inflicted upon you non-stop, no end. Again, again, and again, and again. But you won't die. You just have to live to suffer. Every nanosecond. So you cannot remember anything apart from being in hell and the pain. It's, it makes you forget everything. So I feel truly sorry imagining that you have to suffer so much. If you go to hell, please change your life now. Money is not everything. Only God is everything. Do fear God. Do not cause so much pain to others because they are all God children. Good luck, then, if you have to go to hell. And we, the God-worshipping humans and non-humans, pray for your awakening. Love you. God protect. And so long. May God help you to be awakened soon. May God deliver your soul after awakening. Thank you. Thank you all who listen as well. I wish you all the best. Amen. As for all our shows, viewers may download this message free and send it to meat and livestock business owners. Also fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab tests, cosmetics, and leather industries. Your respected religious leaders family, and friends. God bless. Download the video at suprememastertv.com forward slash download. The other three recent special messages, Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent message to all religious and spiritual leaders, as well as Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent call to rescue our world and pray for world vegan, and Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent message to all world leaders and governments, can also be downloaded free at suprememastertv.com forward slash download.